Hey! <laughs> that was so weak. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Jade Monkey, and we're back here in Rust, talking about the Rust console beta coming for the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One, and we're talking about things in summation for September 2020, and we're talking about things that could potentially happen here coming into early October 2020. And I know official word has been quite scarce, and we haven't seen things for months, but, uh, you know, we've been poring over the data, looking over the commit list, looking over things that Gary's been talking about, making some educated guesses. So a lot of this will be summary, but we'll also be making some heavy speculation here because I, I have a theory and it's been brewing in the back of my head. And I'm, I'm, I just I want to tell you guys what I'm thinking because there might be something to it. So, uh, yes, this is our Rust Council beta news for the end of September 2020. So let's do it. And. Uh, again, for current generation consoles, but this is what this is all about. You ready? Rust on the PS5 and Rust on the Xbox Series X. And how these are related to each other, I think, personally. How all of a sudden, uh, at the end of the year, uh, because this has taken longer than they thought, which I'll show you a couple uh, pieces of, of information that kind of point towards that, um, but I think these are now heavily related to each other and why maybe this could give us, when we find one of, either one of these, like when we hear an official announcement on this or we hear an official announcement on this, I think we'll hear about the other, if that makes sense. So let's go ahead and rewind the clock again. This is summary for most, but I do think this is pertinent. So let's go ahead. And again, this is from Scopes, uh, a good dude from our community. Again, thank you, Scopes, for this. But back in February, he asked Gary, uh, you can see this here, um, he was asking, hey, um, you know, when's this coming out? And Gary responded a few months, maybe back in February. So I think even, and obviously we're in September now. So, you know, even latest here, we're looking at what? Um, an April-ish, you know, latest like June, July. And we're well past that now. So I think even Gary uh, thought it would be sooner than later. So, and that's okay. That's okay. He didn't make any promises. That's one of the reasons why there has been no official information because they're currently still working on the port. Now, again, it's double 11 that's doing that. And I know there's probably some collaboration with Face Punch here and there, but for the most part, Double Eleven handles the port. Anyways, the reason why I say that, the reason why I bring this up is, I think as the date has slipped in his mind, we've also been following it and also making those predictions along the way too, because we're really excited to get this. And um, yeah, so uh, anytime he made an update or anything like that, we were sure we have been sure to pass it on to you, and we'll continue to do that. But I think that's one of the reasons why we've, I mean, I know a lot of you have been saying, hey, man, you've been saying soon for a while. I was like, yeah, I know. We really thought it was soon, too. Um, but it's actually, it's coming to a head now because as it stands now from what they've said, um, if this is indeed still coming in 2020, we're literally just have a handful of months left. So what does that mean for us? Well, clearly the beta comes before the full release. And um, so if that's the case, then the beta has to come it has to come soon because we have what October, November, December, three months. That's it. Right. We're in the fourth quarter now. Ooh, that was a dirty bird. So with that like looming and okay. So I know there's also been some information out there that Gary's put out there to say that the full release, not the beta could potentially slide to late this year, which would be December or even early next year. Now that's scary news, but just remember, even if this thing goes full release early next year, the beta still has to be extremely soon. Um, you know, based off of their information, as far as we know from them, last time we heard. So, and uh, we also get this too. And hopefully, this is scatterbrained a little bit, but I'm I'm trying to walk us to uh, a point here. So hopefully, I, I make it clear. This is like my third or fourth take now, uh, probably my sixth. Anyways, so yeah, as we start to aim towards the end of the year. Um, it starts to make sense that this thing has to happen soon. So, and again, with that, um, with that looming date, even it being pushed out uh, into early next year, our beta still is looming, right? Until they say something detrimental is happening, they have to wait. But anyway, so I, uh, with that, and it's scary information, we've had a lot of people say, um, is it still happening? Yes, it most definitely is. And again, according to them, I think this is the one. Yes. Okay. So all the verbiage on the website still says PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, which still tracks. All the stuff from the commit list still tracks with the current gens. We're still good. Um, I, it, this is still definitely going to happen. But I'm, I'm putting that out there because we've had a lot of questions during the live streams, a lot of things in the comments. I want to make sure that's very clear. Now, I think, I think there's a possibility this might happen before this. Now, let me clarify 
that doesn't mean one's happening over the other. I just think that potentially if we see a beta, it could happen here first. Doesn't mean it's not going to happen here, but it could happen here first. I, that's a theory. I don't know. But I think these are closely tied to each other, whether that's correct or not. And, and, and try to follow my logic here. So if there's a lot of limitations with the Unity engine running on this current platform, right, PS4 and Xbox One, and I, I know these are different platforms going to the next gens to current gens to next gens. They're very different. But with these having just gobs of extra, you know, overhead and, and not overhead, but, uh, you know, resource processing power memory, um, these are definitely well suited to run this application better than this current gen. I'm not saying they can't. They definitely will. And I hope they do. I hope that these don't fall off the wagon. And in all intents and purposes, again, everything is pointing towards this already happening. I mean, look, the closed beta has been happening for the developers since April. So, and, and again, even though this is on Xbox, this still pertains to PlayStation. So they're, I basically talk about them as if they're the same thing. So just know if you're PlayStation, don't freak out. It's cool. Um, so the reason why I say this is I think because they're working on optimization so much here, it doesn't mean it's not happening, but I think because it's getting so close to this, they're thinking, well, maybe we put this out on this one first because it can handle it. We can still troubleshoot a lot of things for this current gen, but we can also see what the rollout feels like on something that has the, ov the overhead. I keep saying overhead. The, um, the memory overhead to handle it. Um, overhead is such a wrong word. Um, you, d you know what I'm saying. So what that means is as this approaches release, we'll e this will either happen on this one first or we'll hear information about this when these get close to full release, these consoles. And let me go ahead and cycle over here real quick. And again, I look at these as the same thing. Honestly, their, their release dates are like, what, this is the 10th, I believe? I could be wrong. And then this one's the 12th. Uh, they're essentially like the same, you know, like uh, so mid-November. So I think as this approaches either a little bit before then, we'll hear some information at launch we'll hear some information or a little bit after like latest if that makes any sense and the reason why i say that is because i know like we're so waiting for this and i know i like when i heard the soon thing back in february i was like oh man it, this is happening soon but i i can see why because like as the post went on throughout the year gary also said hey we're focusing on optimization and bug fixes so i was like okay so like the game as a as its core is there they're literally just trimming up actual performance performance, which is a big thing. I mean, just look at DayZ and its performance issues it's had, okay? I'm not saying they're not working hard on it, but, like, look what happens when it gets released before it's supposed to. Um, I guess that's a bad analogy because <laughs> some people would argue that it doesn't run great right now, and in some cases it doesn't, but uh, we're talking about DayZ. But anyways, let me go back to, to Rust here and say I, I fully believe that this is going to come out for um, current gens for sure. And I, 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 it's a no-brainer that's coming out here. But the reason why I say this again, and uh, hopefully this isn't too scatterbrained. Uh, again, I've done so many takes of this. I just wanted to, to make sense. But okay, here's another reason why I say potentially this could come out as a beta for this first, and this will come soon after. Okay, so one of the reasons... Whoopsie, whoopsie. Hopefully this does make sense. <laughs> I'm just so excited about this. Okay, so on the commit list, we've seen this so many times, I know. But I think one of the reasons why this has gone dark, dark, like, yes, we have shadow text and everything else, but one of the reasons why this went dark for four months is I think they finally decided, hey, this is so close to this release. Let's go ahead and roll it in. And I think because they did that to be safe, because they're NDA'd, as they should be, um, they can't really reveal any PS5 information. I mean, look how much we've been able to extrapolate just going through the commit list, we found out um, some of the button schemes. We found out there's a skin store. We found out it was cross-play. Uh, we found out all kinds of stuff. Um, so I think because they don't want some of these things to be out there, that's why this went completely dark. Again, I could be totally wrong. But here's another reason why I say maybe this got rolled in or maybe this list got turned to private-private and we can't see things is, okay, think about this. What has happened in the last four months? We've had the car beta. Modular cars are now beta and now in the game. We've now seen the fishing village. We've now seen um, changes to um, the storage monitor. What was the other one? We have elevators coming in in October. Think about this. Like, we don't see those changes here. It doesn't mean they're not happening. I just think this got turned off because things are getting rolled into this. Now, whether this means this beta comes before this, I don't know. But I know because of this involvement is m like a strong possibility why we're not seeing a post in the last four months. Like, look, when was the last post? June, like, like a couple of things in June, early June. 
And I think because it got so close, um, this development here, they decided to roll that in. And that makes, it, that makes it, um, a sense why those new changes we've been seeing on the PC Live branch have not been coming in or we haven't seen them on the public side on the commit list. Again, huge, huge jump, huge speculation. Me just guessing, right? Educated guess. But um, yeah, so what does that mean? It still means soon, like it has to be. Until we hear word from Gary, until we hear see, see something on the website, till we see something from Double Eleven, like I'm checking everywhere all the time. Um, it still has to be soon. I'm watching this very closely. The release for these boys in mid-November, I think it's going to give us a big clue. So what does that all mean? I think... All right, let me just throw out some crazy speculation again. Let me say that early October is, is hopeful. Maybe wishful thinking on my part. I think we're all wishing that. But I think earliest we would see something late October or hear something. And I think we're going to start to see something um, early November, late October, right? Information or maybe even the actual date for this thing. Who knows? And I think it's getting so close. Like, I think if it goes mid-November to late November and we don't hear anything... We can already assume that like everything's going to get slid back. And I don't know. I'm putting it out there. I'm just saying. But I don't know. I'm so excited for this. I want this so freaking bad. And I don't know. Like the more and more I see this, these boys, I think it's been influencing this for longer than we thought, if that makes sense. Because we didn't know when this date was going to happen. But let's be honest. Developers, and they knew. They had to have known. But they couldn't say anything. And I think that's why it went off the list. So I guess in short, which <laughs> is the same as last week, it still has to be soon, but I really strongly, firmly believe that this is influencing this um, probably in the last four months, and we just didn't know it. And that's okay, because um, let's, let's be honest. As soon as this switch is over and the beta happens, whether it's on the new stuff or the old stuff, we'll be there. We'll be playing it, um, especially for full release. So anyways, um, if you found this useful, helpful, uh, be sure to drop a like, and uh, if you're into open world survival type games like Rust, consider dropping a subscribe and turning on notifications if you think that's something you're into and something you'd watch. And um, in the interim, while we're waiting for this, and again, I'm sorry this isn't the official information I want or that you guys want, in the interim, we will be playing on official on the PC, because that's the only place we can play currently, uh, but we'll be playing on official, trying to show you guys what it's like to play on official, Basically, the experience we'll get in the beta, and, you know, getting ourselves warmed up and answering your game questions there. And, uh, yeah, we can't wait for this thing to hit the beta. So uh, hopefully we'll see you in the next live stream slash video, yes? Okay, I love you. Bye! Whoosh!